Hi, I'm Chad with Terra Organics, and today we're gonna go over the different types of St. Augustine grass. That way you can pick the best one for your lawn. If you find this information useful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Let's get right into the video. There are eight different types of St. Augustine grass. Bitter Blue, Classic, Floritam, Palmetto, Ralu, Provista, Citra Blue, and Seville. Let's start with Bitter Blue. Bitter Blue was selected in the 1930s. Bitter Blue has a relatively fine, dense texture in dark blue-green color. It has good cold and shade tolerance and is well adapted for the use through the state. It should be mowed to a height of three and a half to four inches. Now Classic St. Augustine. Classic is a cultivar released in the early 2000s. It has a good cold tolerance and used throughout Florida and other states as well. Shade tolerance has not been yet verified by the University of Florida's research, and there is no evidence that is superior to other cultivars. It should be mowed at a height to three and a half and four inches, and it has a very dark green color. Now, Floritam St. Augustine. Floritam is an improved St. Augustine grass that was re released jointly in 1973 by the University of Florida and Texas A&M University. Floritam is the most widely produced used St. Augustine grass in Florida. It is a coarse texture cultivar that has poor cold and shade tolerance relative to other St. Augustine grass cultivars. It does not persist well in environments that get less than six hours of sunlight. It grows vigorously in the spring and summer, and when it first released, it had UF documented chinch bug resistance, although that has been largely lost over time. And chinch bugs are now a major pest in Floritam. It is also susceptible to gray leaf spot fungus and other diseases. Floritam is not tolerant of herbicides that can contain atrazine when applied at a temperature above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It should be mowed at a height of three and a half to four inches. Palmetto was a selection founded by a Florida sod grower in 1988 and released in the mid 1990s. It is sometimes referred to as a semi dwarf cultivar with a shorter growth habit and internodes like many other cultivars, but it is slightly larger than Dwarf St. Augustine. It does well in full sun in partial shade, but not in dense shade. It is sometimes referred to as drought tolerant, but research has not shown that it has any greater degree of drought tolerance than any other of the St. Augustine cultivars. It is not resistant to insects and sometimes has problems with disease, particularly in Florida's humid environment. It tends to have a lighter green color than many other cultivars and it should be mowed at a height to three to four inches. Ralu St. Augustine. Ralu is a cold hardy cultivar released by North Carolina State University in 1980. It has a medium green color and a coarse texture. It is susceptible to chinch bugs and large patch, also known as brown patch disease, but is used in North Florida due to its tolerance to lower temperatures. It is highly susceptible to gray leaf spot fungus. During peak summertime heat, Ralu has been noted to yellow and grow less aggressively than it does at cooler temperatures. Supplemental iron applications can reduce this yellowing tendency. Ralu is best adapted to heavier clay soils with medium to low pH of north and northwest Florida. Provista. Provista is a new cultivar based on the, the proven genetics of Floritam. Provista provides a dense ground cover and is the first glyphosate tolerant turf on the market. Compared to Floritam, Provista has a darker green color, better shade tolerance, and similar leaf blade width. Additionally, Provista grows slower than Floritam and requires less frequent mowing. Citra Blue. Citra Blue is the newest cultivar developed at the University of Florida has been in the market since 2018. This cultivar possesses a unique blue-green color that is easily distinguishable from other St. Augustine varieties. Citra Blue has a more horizontal, dense growth habit than Floritam, which allows it to compete with weeds better than Floritam St. Augustine. Due to more prostrate growing habit, mowing height of Citra Blue can be reduced compared to other cultivars. However, thatch accumulation could result from continuous 
horizontal growth in stolen formations. Citra Blue is more drought tolerant than Floritam, Palmetto, and Ralu and does not seem to be affected by disease as the aforementioned cultivars. Since its introduction to the market is still new, research is currently undergoing at the University of Florida to identify the best management practices for this turf. And the last one is Seville, which is a dwarf cultivar. Seville is fine leaf with a dark green color and low growth habit. It is susceptible to chinch bugs and webworm damage. Like the other dwarf cultivars, Seville tends to be prone to thatch. Seville performs well in both shade and full sun, but is cold sensitive, but is also a good choice for shady sites. Seville should be mowed to a height of two to two and a half inches. Now all this information is straight from the University of Florida, but I'm not here to tell you which one's is best and which one you should use. That's up for you to decide. I gave you the information, now you should do the research in your area to see which cultivar is best for you. So when you're driving around looking at other grasses and wondering why other grasses look different and things like that, remember, there's eight different types of St. Augustine. Everybody has different watering, different soils, different mowing, different fertilizer, and they can even have a different type of St. Augustine grass. That's why the best thing to do is focus on your lawn and figure out the best programs and turf for your type of soil and lawn. I'm Chad with Turf Organics. If you find any of this information useful, please help support the channel by just simply liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and everyone have a great rest of your day.